Talking about the turbulent flow is totally the opposite of the steady flow, and here is an example. So as we have seen, uh, the turbulent flow occurs when the velocity of the flowing liquid or even the gas exceeds a certain limit so that vortices occur. As we've mentioned, when vortices occur, the steady flow turns into a turbulent flow. This is just similar to the case that we have seen when the gas moves from a uh, small place to a larger place. That's all about the city and turbulent flows. The next time we will talk about the rate of flow and the continuity equation. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.